Melanie. Welcome back to my channel, I Heart Stitching. Today I'm just going to do a quick uh, technique video for you. It's a crocheted magic circle or a magic ring. This is a great way to start out hats or flowers, something that you want a real closed circle at the beginning. It's pretty easy. I know for beginners it might seem a little bit confusing, but just follow along, rewind the video, and just practice a couple times. You'll get the idea of what it is you'll be doing. And then I'm going to show you a little couple different ways that you would be starting projects. So I'm going to show you how to do the magic ring and then I'm going to show you kind of the next little step just so you get an idea of how it's supposed to be looking. So let's get going and I'm going to show you how to do the magic circle. Starting with your yarn like so, you want to be holding on to that free end, wrap it around three, two or three fingers and then you're going to insert your hook and pull that end through. Now tighten everything up. If you need to watch that again, just rewind the video. I'm also going to show you one more time a little bit later in the video. But you want everything to be nice and tight. Pull on that end that's attached to the yarn still, not the free end. And you're going to make this little slip stitch. This does not count for your stitches if you're following a pattern. Now I like to pull my tail out of the inside of that circle. And now I'm going to do some single crochets on the inside of the circle. This is mostly just to kind of show you what it looks like. Um, I have a flower pattern that starts out this way with single crochets going inside the circle. So I want you to get a feel for how that looks. You're going to insert your hook inside the circle and you're just going to make these stitches going around. I travel along with that little tail. Um, as you can see here, so you're going to kind of stitch around both of those pieces of yarn. So here you see how it's looking. Single crochets. And then once you have done the amount that the pattern calls for, you're going to pull on the free end. So I'm going to make this loop nice and big so it doesn't get pulled out. Then I'm going to pull on the free end to close up the circle. There it is, nice and tight. This is such a great way to start hats or flowers. This is a really great way. Now you are going to close up the circle, but you're not going to stitch in that little slip stitch that we did at the beginning, which is this little guy right here. You're going to go in this first stitch right over here. So you want to make sure that you do that. And then you're going to slip stitch this circle closed. And that is how you start a magic circle. So now I'm going to show it to you again with uh, half double crochets in the center. So holding onto that free end, make sure you're holding it just like so. Wrap it around some fingers, make a little X. Insert your hook into that little circle and pull through the yarn. You don't want to pull through on that free end, the little tail end. You want to pull through the yarn that's still attached to your skein, your ball of yarn. Tighten everything up. You don't want it to be too loose of just pull everything in and then you're gonna do just a little slip stitch again that does not count as any of your stitches I like to pull this little free tail out of the inside of the circle and now I'm gonna show you half double crochets in the center of the circle it just looks a little bit different and I wanted to show you both ways uh, you can start a hat this way I have a hat pattern that starts this way so I'll link that below if you're interested in that. But basically you're yarning over before you put your hook inside the magic circle. This could also be called a magic ring. So that's kind of how this looks. And you're gonna just continue on until you have completed the amount of stitches you're supposed to do for the pattern. And then again, we're gonna pull on that free end to close up the circle just like we did before. The really great thing about this for starting hats or flowers is that you can get the center really, really, really small. You don't have a hole there as if you were to chain four and connect your ends. So here it is. I'm finishing up here. Half double crochet is my favorite stitch. I love that stitch for crochet. Now I'm going to make this little loop a little bit larger and then we're going to go ahead and pull on this free end to tighten up those stitches. Here it goes, here's the magic, that's where the magic happens. And then don't forget, we're not gonna put our hook in that little slip stitch, it doesn't count. We're gonna put it in the first kind of real stitch um, right over here. So there you have it. Two ways to do a magic circle, or two examples. I hope you had fun.
thank you so much for watching. I hope that that was helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you have any questions. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel and I will see you in the next video. Bye!